Well, good Friday afternoon, you guys. We are kind of behind the scenes uh, with Ballet Fantastique, and we're looking at their next ballet that comes up, not this weekend, but the following weekend, and it's called... As You Like It. Shakespeare in Ballet. In now, the Wild West. <laughs> this is, and this is Donna. Mm -hmm. And Hannah, Hello. mother, daughter, I, mm -hmm. and there's another sister here too as well. Mm -hmm. So this yes. is like a family affair, huh? Mm -hmm. It sure is. So why this play? This is kind of what got you guys started, isn't it? Yes, we um, wanted to do uh, a comedy, um, and we liked the story as you like it that Shakespeare wrote, and we just decided that we would rewrite the lines for our narrator. You rewrote Shakespeare? Yes. We, <laughs> Is we that legal? We had some help. <laughs> so we, we actually, some help. we worked with two professors from the University of Oregon and they helped us rewrite Shakespeare with a Western twang. And we have an amazing narrator. He's an actor who works regularly as a dancer with Ballet Fantastique. So we have the best of both worlds. And Jim asked us what voice he should use. Okay. And we settled on, um, Jim, what narration voice would you say we settled on? Jim, what's your voice? What's the narration voice? What's the brand of it? It's a little Midwest. You're going to hear it. So they're going to do a little bit of the performance in a second for us. Right. But what I love about Ballet Fantastique is you guys are taking ballet from what it, what it always has been, what people think of it as, and you put a story to it. And this, this play years ago is what got you doing what you're doing now, which you have made, I'll say it, quite famous in Eugene Springfield in this part of Oregon. Because you really have taken ballet and made it so it's, I'm going to just say, more interesting to someone like myself. Although I'm a dancer, I'm not a ballet dancer, <laughs> <laughs> nor do I ever intend to be. And that's, that's really true. So this invented kind of this B-Fan brand of we take a classic story like Cinderella, we put a twist on it, like setting it in the 1960s, and then we put it often to live music like Billboard hits played by Shelley and Cow, for example. So this was As You Like It. What's the spin? First of all, no one's ever done As You Like It as a ballet before, ever, anywhere. And so we wanted to be the first people to do As You Like It as a ballet, but it wasn't enough to just do it as the normal Shakespeare. Um, we wanted to put it in the Wild West. Well, of course. I mean, yeah. why not, right? You know. So, you guys, this is going to be next weekend again. You get your tickets, and I put all the information on the top. And then also, I want to tell you that coming up next month is Babes in Toyland. Yes, world premiere in December. In right? December, for and so program. you can find all the other programs on there. And, and they got stuff going all the way through next year. So, you, mm -hmm. and trust me, get your tickets because if you don't, they go bye bye. Yeah. They they don't last for a long time. So, okay, That's you guys going to do something for us? Yes. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna do a little performance for us. So um, we got all the other dancers here, and I will not be dancing. I will just be videotaping. All right, here we go. Thanks, you guys. Okay, go do your thing. You know how you do? Hold this just like that. That's where you want us? Okay. Elsewhere, a 
amongst the cacti and scrub, dejected wanderer, weary in spirit, sweet Rosie and Cece. The wide ranging range is lamentable home to many lost and wandering souls. Our land of among the rest. Well, who else is here? Why is Brother Oliver pricked on by conscience for failing to defend his brother Bird, the evil sheriff's eye? He seeks out Lando, but who knows what he will find, for anything can happen here on the range. Ballet Fantastique. It's their uh, rehearsal. They're putting on this ballet next weekend. And so we're getting, they let us come in behind the scenes and Summit Funding, that's Dave right over there. He is sponsoring the show because he's really big on the arts in Eugene. So this is a ballet company based out of Eugene, Oregon. And a mom and her two daughters and uh, it's super popular. So what they do is take ballet and make it, put it to a, a play, and this is a Shakespeare play, and they put a twist on it. So in this case, they're putting it uh, as a, a country western, but it has absolutely nothing to do with country western. And that's what makes it so fun. You go to the ballet, and uh, for those of us who may not be someone who would go to the ballet on a normal basis, uh, this makes it really fun because you're seeing a play.
country lass. Oh, she doth teach the campfires to burn bright. The painted perfume ladies of the town never merit second look for me. But from this wench, so lively and so fair, <laughs> I cannot take my eyes ever till now. When men were fond, I smiled and wondered how. on some of the most amazing performances and this is uh, a Shakespeare play done in country western to ballet. Nobody else has ever done that before.
looks really cool on here. All right, you guys, again, we are at Ballet Fantastique. Um, it's a local dance company, a ballet company. A mom and her two daughters own the thing. And um, our sponsor is Dave Camber with Summit Funding. Hello, Rick. Um, big arts guy. Um, parents were involved in the Eugene Symphony. Right. You were involved in the Eugene Symphony. Still are on the board. And so this kind of stuff, and plus you know Hannah and her family. Um, you're liking that. You know, these, listen, these people, they're great artists, and they're in our community doing this. I mean, it's pretty special. They started their own dance company, you guys, and they are one of the second. They're like two. They're, now there's two ballet dance companies right. at the Holt Center here in Eugene, and they're one of them. And, um, and they too do a twist on ballet, like you just saw. Amazing. I mean, who does Shakespeare in a, Western. <laughs> in a Western style, in a ballet? Nobody's ever done this play. I just love play. how creative they are, Rick. And right. they come up with this stuff. But they, their point is they make ballet fun and they tell a story. And they've done so many different shows and they're all good. And they, they use a lot of local people that are extremely good. I mean, great talent here in Eugene. It's amazing talent. So you guys, this uh, ballet is next weekend. So it's the, I put the information at the top, the 19th, 20th, and 21st, I think is the right dates. And then also when you're on there, go look um, to find out more about Babes in Toyland coming up in December. And then they have performances all throughout the year. So it's not just, I mean, they're doing this stuff all the time. Yes, please come see them. I mean, it, first of all, it's a great show all based here in Eugene and on top of that, the more support they get, the more stuff they're gonna do. Right. Which we and want lots of that. Did you have something we Okay. Okay, all right. I, I see you're doing clips. She, <laughs> Thank you, Donna. So Donna's telling us, getting them some other tips and everything that we could do. She told us that earlier, but that's okay. I know. I was just dancing you just do what around. You want. I'm dancing. I'm a dancer. I just want to dance <laughs> okay. around. The close so it is the, fun. To, you see the expressions. So all the things about ballet is they also have facial expressions, like their whole body, including their facial expressions, tell the story. Right. So they really invest. I don't know if you're watching that, but they, you got to watch what their faces are doing too. And they're having fun. So you guys, if you, the, you know, I'm going to pitch for Dave. Um, so if you're looking for a mortgage loan summit funding, Dave Camerer, because the people that are investing in our community, I think that's where we need to do business. So if you like arts in town and you're into the symphony and all that kind of stuff, these are the folks who make that happen. They take happen. good care of you, of course. Yeah, yeah. And they, oh, they do take good care. In fact, real fast. Fast. We have to be kind of quiet, but they do veterans loans like you would not believe. They had a guy last of recently that could not get a loan at another institution, and you guys got it for him. And those are your kind of people you like to help. Dave likes to help the people that nobody else can help. <laughs> so, I like to help everybody, but the people that can't get it done somewhere else, I, I can fix it. So you guys, we're going to give a little more video here uh, so you can kind of get a little picture of it and then share this on your page and be sure and check out their page because, again, it's a local company. Dave, thank you for sponsoring. My pleasure. Thank you, um, Rick. I'll see you at the tailgater tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Go, Ducks. Go Ducks. That's right. Washington, bye-bye. Go be <laughs> All right. Thanks, David. Okay. Hold on, guys.